Hey moms, what's up? It's your girl Brittany Jade and today I'm coming at you with another video as a part of my Mama Monday series. I'm super excited. This is the third episode on this series that I'm doing on my channel where we discuss all things related to motherhood, marriage, and just being a woman in general and how it relates to being a mom. So I'm super excited because today's topic is really juicy. It's all about the dreaded mom guilt. <music> So today I'm really excited to dig deep into what exactly mom guilt is, why we have it, and what we can do to overcome that as moms. So if you're not familiar with this new term, what exactly is mom guilt? Well, I'll tell you. Mom guilt is the feeling of feeling guilty, feeling doubt, feeling anxiousness, or feeling uncertainty when we feel like we're failing or falling short of expectations in some way. I just wanna say that on the spectrum of mom guilt, there are tons of different variables. There are so many different experiences. No two experiences in motherhood or the guilt that comes with mom guilt will look the same for each person. So I'm just going to speak on personal experience, how mom guilt relates to me, and different ways that I teach myself on a daily basis that it's okay to overcome this, I can overcome it. So mom guilt is very pervasive amongst mothers, especially in this era of social media and the whole influencer craze and looking at all of these picturesque moms who seem to have it all. And I put have it all in quotations because that is what society has led us mothers to believe that we should have. We should be able to juggle having a family, having a marriage, having a career, keeping our house picture perfect doing it all, running a business, breastfeeding super long, feeding our kids natural and organic foods, making sure that our husbands are well polished and put together, making sure that our own clothes are perfectly trendy and form fitting to our perfectly curvaceous bodies and we are just spot on and we go to the gym five days a week and we're taking our yoga classes and we're flexible. Realistic, it's just not realistic. I mean, the list goes on and on about all of these expectations of what today's on-trend, social media, perfect type mom has. And I am here today to talk about why we feel this way, how society has shaped our minds to believe that this is what real motherhood is looking like, and why we beat ourselves up when we don't achieve this image that is totally unattainable, by the way. So. If you are not this mom, which 99.9% .9 of us are not, I can promise you, even those beautiful mothers who have the amazing, incredible Instagram feeds and it seems like their kids all eat whatever is put in front of them and they listen and they're well-behaved and they keep their outfits nice, I can promise you that is not what it looks like behind the scenes. And it is okay if you're not living up to whatever image that Instagram mom is trying to portray to us because I promise you that's not real life guys so let's get on into this video so I think a huge thing that drives mom guilt is unreasonable expectations that are put on mothers these unreasonable expectations are kind of drilled into our heads and I think that they kind of stem from societal norms from like us growing up or things that we're bombarded with in the media but nonetheless they're unreasonable and I feel like a lot of the times we are constantly trying to live up to these expectations which are unattainable and completely preposterous for someone who just carried a baby for nine months and pushed a tiny human out and is now expected to care for a small child who is solely dependent on you while your body's falling apart, your hormones are all in a wreck, you're trying to come up with this new normal and I mean, it's just chaotic. When you're struck with trying to deal with all of these changes that takes place when you just have a baby, a lot of the times moms can experience like postpartum depression or feelings of postpartum anxiety and we can really start questioning, did I make the right choice? Am I a good mother? And it's totally not uncommon for moms to start feeling those feelings of regret and wishing for their pre-baby life back. And if you are one of those moms who has ever felt this way, then you know that if you were to actually voice those opinions to another person, you might fear the judgment that can come along with that. And that is where the guilt tends to take a toll. For me personally, I experience a ton of mom guilt when it comes to breastfeeding. One, 
because I have been bombarded with this idea and I don't even know where the idea came from. Breast is best. And I don't know where this came from in my mind, but I just have it in, ingrained in me and I'm slowly working through this, but that breast is best. And because I'm unable to breastfeed, exclusively breastfeed my child, that somehow that leads to me being a bad mom. Now I know fed is best. I know that I can say it out loud, but somewhere innately deep in who I am as a person, I just believe this to be true, that breast is best and that I am a bad mom because I can't breastfeed. But let me just tell you, somebody who has a really low supply and has put a lot of dedication and time into this, all of that extra pressure coupled with sleepless nights, a crying baby, and feelings of guilt, it's all extremely difficult and it's very tiring for a mom, especially a new mom, again, like myself, trying to juggle a family and a household. And it's ridiculous. It really is. Another concern where a lot of moms might feel guilt is in terms of staying home or going back to work. There's this constant fear of leaving your child and making the decision to go back to work, whether it be for financial reasons or just because you enjoy your job or career and you have this idea of, well, you know, am I a bad mom for leaving my child and going back to work and putting them in daycare or with a nanny? How do I show my child that it's okay to go to work like daddy does and not have to stay at home without feeling like I'm constantly being judged for my decisions by society and other people? So those are two really big areas where I feel like a lot of moms these days are feeling mom guilt. I'd like to make a note here that in terms of being a mother, when you become a new mom, and you start thinking like, am I a good mom or I'm not good enough or you start feeling bombarded with those feelings of mom guilt, I just wanna remind everyone that being a mom should not be your entire identity. Motherhood is such a beautiful experience and it is so amazing and it is a great deal of who we are as women and as people, but it's not your entire being. So if you're somebody who really enjoys your career or if you're somebody who really enjoys going out on girls night or going on date night with your husband or taking a vacation every so often or going to get your nails done, you shouldn't have to feel guilty about that because being a mother is not your entire identity. You should not fit into this little box that is all motherhood because you were somebody before you had your children and that somebody is still in there and she is still worthy of self-care, self-love, grace, and self-admiration because you are important. And if you cannot take care of yourself, you can't take care of your children or your family. So I think that that's very important to note in terms of feeling guilty about doing things for yourself. So how does the mom guilt show up in us and what should we be looking for? One of my favorite authors, Brene Brown, she talks about the feelings of guilt. She states that it focuses on the behavior, whereas shame is what we feel about ourselves. So in my particular instance with the breastfeeding situation, I feel okay, so I wasn't able to breastfeed long enough or I wasn't able to exclusively breastfeed particularly. So that is me focusing on the behavior. Now, what do I do? Internally, I turn that around and I say, I am a bad mom and that is me shaming myself. And the guilt and shame associated with those two things pushes a mother into deep self-judgment, a constant comparing of others where I look at other moms who are able to exclusively breastfeed or who are able to fill their freezers with storage bags full of milk and I feel like unequivocally just falling short all the time on the spectrum and that I am not a good mom and an array of other negative thoughts about myself. And then what do we do as mom? We hide these feelings from others. We don't talk about them. We internally stuff them and then we believe them to be true. And we as moms are our own worst critics and it never fails. We are our own worst judgment. We talk to ourselves in a way where we would never talk to another person. I mean, I look at other moms who have struggled with their supply and I am so kind and so gracious to them. However, for my own self, I turn that around and I just have the most negative self-talk and that is where the change needs to take place. So the guilt and the resulting feelings of those shames, they show up in different ways. They show up in our thoughts and our behavior, and they can show up in ways like depression and anxiety. One in seven women experience postpartum depression or anxiety. They show up in negative thoughts, like 
I shouldn't give my baby formula because breast is best or I shouldn't go back to work because my baby needs me and I'm somehow abandoning my child by going back to work. They show up in massive amounts of time showing up on social media or posting only the good moments on social media. And you post only these good photos of your child on social media to prove to the world that you are a great mom and that everything is fine and I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm not falling apart, my baby's not crying, I'm not only sleeping two hours a night, I'm fine. <laughs> my husband likes to say fine stands for fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. I'm fine. It shows up in overdoing, overworking yourself, and over scheduling your activities because you have this belief that a mom that does more is doing more in life and is just doing better. And that if you ignore the guilt by doing as much as you possibly can, that it'll get better. But actually, this will just turn into a total burnout. It shows up in addictive behavior. So overusing drugs, alcohol, shopping, gambling, whatever your vice is, it can show up in that way, which is totally unhealthy as well. And it can also show up in perfectionism. Again, it goes back to that whole wanting to portray this image that the media has told us is achievable, which is having it all. And you may want to have this image like that you're perfect and on the inside you're crumbling and you're in pain. So those are just a few of the ways that mom guilt can show up and why it can show up those ways. And so now I would like to talk about what the cure is to mom guilt and how we can get rid of it. Sayonara. See you later, mom guilt. I am not guilty anymore. This is the antidote guys. This is what we need to feel better about ourselves, to let go of this unachievable image of perfectionism that is social media mom or Instagram mom of the year. Like we want to get rid of that completely because like I've already said multiple times now, it's unachievable, it's unattainable, and it's not real. It's not realistic at all. So the first thing that I recommend to heal from the mom guilt is to change your thoughts. And I've said that a lot here that we have these internal thoughts about ourselves. And I think that the most important thing is to get rid of the word should. I should be doing this. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be exclusively breastfeeding. I should be a stay at home mom. I should be doing whatever, fill in the blank, feeding my kids organic while balancing on a yoga ball in a bikini, three weeks postpartum, or whatever your should is that you're saying to yourself, get rid of it. We need to have positive self-talk. We need to learn how to really love ourselves, how to give ourselves grace and kindness and self-love, and we need to change the internal thought process. So every time you say to yourself, I should be doing this in, in relation to being a good mom, I want you to just get rid of it completely. So instead of saying, I should stop working, I want you to replace that with something positive in turn. Like, I am a better person because I work. I am a better mother when I go to work and I come home feeling recharged because I love my career. I want you to consider what you're contributing to your family as opposed to what you feel like you're taking away. And that is something that's really gonna help you. Another thing is to acknowledge and accept. When you're kind of feeling off or when you're starting to feel that overwhelming feelings of guilt pop up, just stop and take a moment to breathe. Whether that's meditation for a few minutes or allowing yourself to cry, I can't tell you the amount of times like I have just had to like call my husband and cry or call my mom and cry or just cry to myself or take a few moments to breathe. I actually have an entire morning routine where I wake up and I take a few moments to breathe and do my yoga and work out. Um, you know, I make sure that I take this time to just reflect, decompress and be totally in tune with myself and how I'm feeling. And I think that that is so important as a mom. We need to allow ourselves to be vulnerable when we're feeling these feelings of guilt and we need to respond to ourselves with loving kindness. I think that there is so much stress that comes along with being a mother and I think it's absolutely 100% important that we remind ourselves that our feelings are normal, they are valid, and it's okay. Everything is going to be okay. 
last tip that I have is to build resilience in the face of guilt and shame and fear and anxiety. I urge you to have the courage to just be totally real. Let go of any perfectionism. Take the time to take care of yourself. If you're somebody who likes to go and get a pedicure or a manicure, go do it. Schedule a babysitter or ask your husband to take the kids or your mom or you know your good friend or whoever in your family that you trust. Go and take some time for yourself. Go and get that pedicure manicure. Go and pick yourself up a Starbucks on the way, girl, because you deserve it and you probably need some caffeine. Go and get a facial. Go and get your hair done. Do something to make yourself feel like you're you again, like you're apart from just your identity and your motherhood. Because like I said, you are more than just being a mom. There's somebody else inside of you that was there before you had kids and a family and all of these responsibilities. And it's so important that you nurture that woman because she's important too. Eat healthy, make your health and fitness a priority if that's something that's going to make you feel good. Do some yoga, do some cardiovascular activities. Nourish your body, you guys, because that's what's really going to help you to feel better mentally. I feel like when you feel good about yourself physically and when you're feeding your soul and your body with like the things that it needs and you're drinking your water and you're sipping your tea, that's when we really start to free ourselves from this guilt and shame and we really start to acknowledge that we are great human beings and amazing mothers. And lastly, spend time with family and friends and your supportive circle. If you don't have a supportive circle, I suggest you find one. With the rise of social media, there are so many groups out there for moms and for people who are going through it. You can literally find a group about anything on Facebook. And I definitely recommend that you find your social circle, you connect with them, and you find a group of women that you feel safe to connect with that you can just talk to because talking is so important, especially when you're dealing with this. Lastly, I just wanna remind you to take the time that you need. Take the time, excuse me. Take the time that you need to adjust. Becoming a new mom is such an adjustment period. There's always an adjustment period. Take the time to adjust, soak it all in, and know that becoming a mom is one of the most profound transitions that you'll ever make in your life. It takes time to adjust, and it is possible to get rid of those feelings of mom guilt. And if you need additional help navigating through this process, there is no shame in reaching out for a counselor or for mental health professionals. Check the description box down below because I am going to have some extra links provided for additional support for somebody who feels like they may need some help. Obviously, if you are someone who is struggling with postpartum depression right now and you think that you might be a harm to yourself or to your baby or somebody else, make sure that you check out the link that I'll have down below in my description box because I want you to get the help that you need no matter how much you're struggling or not struggling. In closing, I just wanna say, being a mother can be filled with so much chaos, stress, anxiety. Sometimes it can literally feel like the worst job on the planet, but we do not have to have fear and guilt and shame control our experience, guys. We can work towards self-acceptance and letting go and being the best moms that we can be and that we are, because we are all kick-ass women. And I encourage you and I lift you up and I love you and I'm here for you if you ever have any questions and wanna to talk to me. I mean, comment down below, connect with me on Instagram, DM me, whatever, reach out to whoever you can, whenever you can. And if you have no one, you have me because I've got your back. And thank you so much for checking out this video today, guys. I loved filming this. I hope that you guys liked it too. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, um, or if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please share this video. Share this video on your walls, share this video with your friends, your family members, any new moms that you feel like might need a little bit of extra oomph to get out of it. Definitely, definitely share this. So thank you guys so much. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your week guys and have a great rest of your Monday. Bye.